Pope. This village in Italy has been drawn out of obscurity by its ties with Pope Francis. Porta Comaro Stazione, population 275, most of them farmers and laborers, is barely more than a hamlet in the northern Piedmont region, straddling a highway. On Sunday, churchgoers here were happy to show us photos taken with the new Bishop of Rome. The Argentinian-born Cardinal Bergoglio, promoted to pontiff, traces his roots to this place. It's where his father's family came from and where his cousins still live. They're still catching their breath after this unexpected turn of events. The Lord has given us a great blessing, says this relative. We might not even be worthy of it. Another relative says when the conclave was being held, I was doing household chores, and then I heard his name announced. I was very moved by it. I couldn't talk for five minutes. I was rooted to the spot in front of the television. All of a sudden it came to me I should say a prayer for him. Everyone in the village has been getting ready to travel to Vatican City for this Tuesday's enthronement ceremony. After that, they hope to welcome the Pope here. The mayor of the community of Asti, of which Porto Comaro Stazione forms a part, is optimistic. He says we invited him when he was just the Cardinal of Buenos Aires, coming to take part in the conclave. But now we'd be happy if he could come in 2015, when we'll be celebrating the bicentenary of St. John Bosco, founder of the Society of St. Francis of Sales. We'd be overjoyed to have that recognition for a saint who came from here and who did so much good in the world, for the church and for lay people alike. The teachings of that order are universal. Our correspondent says, the village surroundings are robed in white like the Pope. The Bergoglio family is observing Francis with love and pride. Porta Comaro Stazione, a few kilometers from Asti, looks forward expectantly to seeing the son who went so far. Among those celebrating are Horacio and Graciela Caffaralti, immigrants from Argentina to the city of Turin. Graciela says his election was a complete surprise. When we heard the news, we got quite emotional, my husband especially. Next stop, Rome.